This is one of the roles that I've taken and Carrie split up our roles. And when we took the immediate action, um, I started, uh, we actually have about 180 investors. So um, I didn't want to wait to see what happened. So I wanted to communicate with them instead of sending out um, an email to all of them. Um, I haven't got to all of them. I've talked to about 80 of them so far, but the point was to create a plan. What is stone Bay's plan today? What are we going to do tomorrow? And where do I think we'll be in six months? And it was a dialogue and it kind of started out. Um, it's been amazing to talk to everyone far and I'm going to continue doing that. But it was really, you know, this is what we're doing right now. Um, I told them, gave them a heartfelt message because Stone Bay in the past year, Kerry and I felt that the things that we buy, the mobile home parks, the apartment buildings, the charged off second mortgage, the lending, we actually have been very careful what we've done the past year. You know, it's not like trying to find out what everyone wants and what's in our mind. It's really a gut thing for us. We we already felt that real estate was overvalued. We already felt that the stock market was overvalued. And we thought that we needed to hold on to some of our cash. And luckily we did. But it's it's reinforcing to the investor what we've been doing over the past couple months and, and let them know exactly why we think that we protected all their principal, which I 100 percent believe that we did. But I'm telling the people that are listening, they need to reach out to their banks. They need to reach out to their loan officers. They need to reach out if they have private lenders. They need to talk to them and communicate them and let them know where, um, ask where the investors, where they are and tell the investors what their plan is and how they're gonna work their way through this. Um, you know, you gotta tell the story. You gotta have dialogue and communication with everyone that's going on. People don't like to be held in the dark. And I think what a lot of entrepreneurs do is they're, they're reactive instead of being proactive. And you know, my communication to my investors might be on a bi-weekly basis as things unfold because we've never experienced this before.